Okay, so our soil has been prepped, weeded, aerated, and composted. We're just about ready to start planting and transplanting some starters. We're gonna do some uh, plantings from seeds and as well as we have some, uh, some fruit and vegetable starters. Uh, it's really important before you plant any seeds or starters that you get the whole bed uh, very wet. Um, when, you, when you plant things, the soil will absorb the water before the roots will. So if you wait till after you plant and then water, it's going to uh, cause the plants to get shocked and some of the roots will die and they won't do as well. So we're going to just water this whole bed and uh, let the gravitational water pull through to where this is just nice and damp and then we could go ahead and start planting. We've just finished watering our raised bed and it takes quite a while to actually get the raised bed filled with enough water for plant growth. Soil and organic matter can hold a tremendous amount of water, so I probably spent just as much time, if not more, watering this bed in soil than I did pulling the weeds. And a good way to check if the soil has enough moisture is if when you uh, pick up a good handful of it and squeeze it, that uh, moisture will start to ooze out of it, but it's not completely completely dripping wet or, or dry and it'll also form kind of a nice a nice clump in a ball. So our soil and raised bed has now been prepped and is ready to plant. I'd like to go over a little bit uh, overview of the science behind what we did today. We tried to find a site that gets a lot of light and then we removed all of the weeds from the raised beds to eliminate competition for light, nutrients, and root space. We then uh, loosened the soil to aerate it, giving the roots uh, more of a chance to spread out to grab nutrients, as well as giving them the right balance of air to water to soil in the, in the rooting area. We also added compost and organic matter uh, in, in the form of the chicken manure to slowly fertilize the soil and the plants, give them the nutrients that it needs for long-term growth. Uh, we then added water so that when we um, transplant and plant the seeds, they have the water they need to get started and established. If you do all those things in a raised bed, you're off to a good start on a garden.